Hey yo everybody, my name is Jay Waz and welcome back to Need for Speed World. In this video we're checking out the Jaguar F-Type SVR as suggested by... Okay, I completely forgot your name already. Hold on! Mika26B! Somehow I knew it was Mika26B. He also gave me a couple of tips that, well, I was suggested by multiple other people by, including someone that I sometimes play with. So I'm doing it in this video if need be. And not just, you know, using more variety when it comes to the performance parts of the cars. In the last video, we checked out this, the Lamborghini Urus, and while, wow, yes, it can't corner, it can destroy the hell out of cups. If you'd like to see that video, I'll put a link to it in the description below. And unlike my other videos, I'm not doing my gem hunt, because I've already done it. This is the Jaguar F-Type SVR. It's got an overall a 601, top speed of 643, acceleration of 742, and handling of 420. That's the best handling number I've ever seen in my life. And not because it's good, because 420, baby! If you want to buy this car, it's going to set you back a whopping 500,000 and 500 bucks. I've never driven this car in this game because I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not a fan of this car in real life. It could be good in this game, but I would never know because of my feelings towards it in the real world. Okay, this thing actually corners surprisingly well. Definitely trying this thing out in a race. Welcome to Palmont Reverse! Let's do it! This sounds good, honestly. Perfect launch seems alright, but there's no way of knowing since it is this very bottom FA class. But for its class, it doesn't seem to handle too bad, at least when I was a free roam. I haven't tested in the quarters here yet. Alright, it's a little slidey. It's a little slidey, but not too bad. Somebody is getting closer. Is that a Mustang? Yeah, I should probably be terrified of that. American muscle versus British muscle! Run for your lives, British! I'm sorry I'm driving you like ass! No! Not the American muscle! Oh no, he's actually taking shirt. Why did he slow down so much? That was stupid. I forgot. AI is not even that intelligent, but that one actually did take a shortcut. I should not discredit him. Ah, no, 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 don't lose. Oh, he crashed too. Thank Jesus. I'm going to scoop back this mic a little bit just because I clipped the hell out of it there. Oh, wow. The Super Snake has an overall a 669. <laughs> yeah. Aside from my inability to drive from time to time, this car actually performed quite well in this. Late departure. Let's give you a shot. Hold on. You can't. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Did they remove that as an option? You you can't do Team Escape single player anymore? What? Well, that actually sucks. There are drivers found. There's no drivers. What the hell is this? Nobody's joining. All right, I know everybody. There's a lot of people that constantly do high stakes, so I guess the best place we're going to try that is in high stakes. Let's give it a shot. Nobody's joining. Is it going to kick me out of the event or is it going to start it? It's still on zero. Nothing's happening. Hello? Anybody there? Damn it, it kicked me out. I guess we're not doing team escapes. Why would they do that? Why would they remove the option to do that as single player? That is actually kind of bullshit. Well, since we can't do team escapes, we can find out how well it does as a team escape car, which that might actually be removed as an option completely from the server. Let's build it for a race, but first, let's look at the aftermarket shop. It apparently already has a spoiler. I wasn't expecting that. Well, that actually is. That actually is a spoiler in the game. It's got no body kits. Doesn't have any special spoilers for the car. It's got no hoods. Oh, let me see if I can find some good wheels for it at least. Hey yo, those actually look pretty good on this. I'm doing that. Black tint, gotta have it. Stage 3 lower kit is an absolute requirement. Hey, okay, that's actually a clean license plate I was not expecting to see. We're definitely doing that even though it costs boost. Customization for this car is not the greatest so far. You can, you can change the wheels and the tag and the wing, which actually, let me look at the wing, see if there's anything that might look better than that. That, that wing is just too narrow for this car. It lines up with the body lines. I get it. That's kind of the point, but that's not what I want. What the hell is that? Hey, yo, that's actually pretty clean on this car. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, let's do that. All right. All right, I didn't expect to say this, but white looks good on this car. We're doing that. As for the rim color, I'm not sure what to do with that. Hey. Hold on, do they hit- what about chrome finish? Yes, that looks good. Once again, customization is actually quite disappointing, but all things considered, do you really need customization? I mean, yeah, kind of, kind of. You kind of do, but you know, it looks fine as is. Anyway, I'm going to do this up to the top A-class Abu will be right back. All right, we got an overall at 699, top speed of 744, acceleration at 846, and a handling of 509. In fact, I primarily focused on handling because that, you know, the handling is the lowest out of all the three. And I definitely want to bring it up as much as I can. For the top part, we use the tier Elite Series engine. Second part, we use the Nova T Street Series Turbo 224. And for brakes, we use the American Speed Systems, which is, you know, about the cheapest part you can get. Not crazy customization, but once again, we're bringing it to the top of the class. And then we're going to go to S1 right after this one. I hope this does well. Since it was recommended by somebody, it typically means it's going to be a good car or it could be a trash car if they want to see me fail. 
We'll find out either way. Oh my god, the Goliath is 52 miles. When I max this car, I will do it just for you guys. Let's go ahead and do downtown challenge. It's only 7.46 miles, but I'm not trying to go crazy distance until this car is completely maxed out. I forgot the skill workshop, son of a... I missed the perfect launch, damn it. That's okay, we don't need it. I'm sure I'll be fine. Although that three... 370C is uh, got an obnoxious exhaust. It got all slidey. AI is ignoring shortcuts. This might work. What the hell was that? Okay, that was not the 370 I heard. That thing is loud as hell. Holy crap. It is an R34. What am I expecting? Is that a team escape? What the hell is a team escape R34 doing in here? Oh, uh, no. We're back in third place again. Oh. Uh Oh my god, it does not like cornering this thing. It takes him awfully wide. And not like that, it's acting like an American car. Turn, damn it! Why are you doing that? Stop! Stop! Oh my god, the understeer is ridiculous. I'm losing the AI in a Knight Rider server. Did they increase the difficulty? If they made the AI harder, awesome. Good for you. But you could have let us know. You probably did let us know that I think about it. Why is this angry like an angry bumblebee passing me? The understeer is awful on this car, dude. That is not even funny. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Ouch! Damn you! What? Hey, somebody spun out! We're second place again! Yay! All this time of me cracking on the AI, making fun of them, and now I'm getting my ass kicked by what? 370Z! We lost! I haven't lost a race in this game in forever. Oh, it was an R34. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. My handling is slightly better than a Corvette's. This is not great at all in A-Class. No, I wouldn't do it. I even I increased the handling, and it still did trash in A-Class. We gotta tune this up. I'm gonna go ahead and do this to S1 class. I'll be right back. All right, I was so bothered by the handling. I did all handling parts besides the brakes. I haven't changed the brakes at all. They're exactly what I did. I put them in there. Top three are tier elite series. The suspension is attack motorsport and well, the brakes are the same. We got an overall at 799. We got top speed at 843, acceleration at 947 and handling a 607. You know, it's funny, even though I put handling focused parts on, it's still not the one that got the most gain. In fact, it's the one that got the least amount of gain. And for the love of God, before I forget, skill workshop. All right, for the skill workshop, we got a maxed out perfect start duration, 40% on nitrous power. We maxed out race cash, 20% on perfect start RPMs and 53% on nitrous duration. Now I'm probably never going to use power ups in here, but I specifically chose super shot just to hopefully, you know, boost the perfect start. Dude, that cost almost a half a million in-game cash. That is ridiculous. Cost more than upgrading the car to the max of this server. I do definitely love that tag, though. That is a nice tag. All right, let's do Olympic Boulevard. It is S1 class sprint. It's less than four miles, but it should let us know if the handling has gotten any better, which I really hope it has. Okay, that perfect start is ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh, they spun out. They spun out. Okay, it does seem to be doing a lot better. It's still slidey. But again, what do you expect? It's basically a British muscle car. Well, you see over there, you great Britain bastards. You're not so different from us after all. It does feel a lot better. I'm happy to see that. A class, definitely no. Don't do it. It's still a little slidey. But it's not that bad. Like A class, you I was sliding all over the place. I was understeering like Mad Hill. Like it still understeers a little bit, but not nearly as bad as it was in A class. And we won the race. The AI are just scrambled all over the map. We got this in a bag. That's what class. I like it. It actually performs quite nicely. Alright, we only got like two or three parts before this thing is maxed out. Let's go ahead and just Put it straight up. All right, we now got all tier elite series parts. The overhaul for handling is now 666. That is nice. Anyhow, overall 842, top speed at 878, acceleration at 982, and the handling of 666. Lovely number. Handling got the most boost this time. Thankfully, that's kind of what I wanted. I just don't like the fact that the overall is 666. Don't judge me. That actually that actually looks like a nice color. Hey, yo, yeah, I'm doing that. I just funny, the last Need for Speed video I did. I did a coat like this. I don't know what it is about that kind of paint job, but I think it just looks so mwablissimo. <laughs> All right, you know what? We got to do it. And I'm <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this, but we're doing the Goliath. This is going to take a long time. Great, this is an Apollo. That thing is going to do... Holy crap. Oh, my God. Dude, that perfect start is ridiculous. Oh. Goodness gracious. Still a little understeering, but it's doing so much better. Holy crap. 666 may be a bad number, but it's not that bad for this car. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, yeah, it's doing so much better now. Definitely not the best handling car I've ever had, but it is nice to drive. It doesn't feel overpowering, you know what I mean? Oh my god, we've been driving for over a minute and it's only been 5% of the race. 
it's gonna take a while. And I must say, this car sounds good. Yeah, it's a nice growl. I really like that. We have a substantial lead in front of the AI right now, but Jesus Christ, we're only 9% through the race. Oh, no, I almost messed that up so bad. I'm so glad I took it. Drifted. Ah! You know, when they said this was the Goliath, they weren't kidding. Three minutes in, 13% done. How exciting. No, oh, back up. Nitrous, nitrous. Oh my goodness gracious. Ah! Skill workshop did a job that was way too much nitrous power. Like, I got something to talk about. I, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while. If you're going to present a negative emotion in my comments, I'm probably going to ignore it. If you're going to present a negative emotion, but with tips to follow up it, I'm gonna, it's not going to make any difference of the impact it would have made if it didn't include the negative thought. So if you can give useful comments without presenting it in such a negative way, that's the kind of comments I appreciate. But if you're going to present a comment and throw in some kind of negative feeling comment in there, some, something that just, I hate those comments, okay? I don't care for those comments. I don't care. I always ignore them. I can't have, I don't like having negative in my life because I'm already fighting to stay positive every day that I'm alive. You know what I'm seeing? Because there's so much going on. I don't want to sit there and to read a comment and then feel bad in some type of way. No, it's not happening. I just want to get on, make videos, hopefully make someone stay a little better. I'm not going to take this game too seriously. I will take it a little bit seriously, obviously, because I want to see how a car performs for someone's benefit, to see if they decide whether or not they want to get that card. That's the primary focus on making these videos. And yes, I absolutely love playing this game. That's another reason to play these, make these videos. And on top of that, I am a video editor. I am a graphic designer. This is something I've always enjoyed doing. I love making videos. That's just my thing. Sometimes you'll see me experiment here and there. Okay, I am babbling on and on. You get the point. I will talk to you guys at the end of this race because this is taking forever. Or maybe not the end of this race, dude. This car feels so much better. I keep forgetting it. I, I just can't believe how much better it makes it when you focus primarily on handling parts yes you guys are absolutely right i should have been doing something like this for a long time i did it once or twice in previous videos but i'm gonna make it an option now anytime there's a car that seems to have a lower stat i'm gonna focus on racing it if it needs it oh god sharp corner i wasn't ready for that every time a race like this takes forever to complete which i'm only 27 percent done i press down so hard on my keys without meaning to i'm gonna break my keyboard before i get there anyway i guess i'll see you guys when something else interesting happens Probably not gonna happen. Oh, idea this one was gonna take this long. And this is a fun car to be using for this. I'm not gonna lie. All right, I'm done talking until the race is over. I'll see you guys at the end of the race. Screw this. Oh my God, the finish line. I never thought I would see it. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, that took 25 minutes. So much so that my, what? My mouse went into sleep mode. Oh, my eyes are burning. Oh my God. I don't think I blinked for like half that race. Jesus Christ. We went 200 to 59 miles an hour, that must be with nitrous, because that nitrous is ridiculous. Like, I know I added skill perk. 350, oh my god, the amount of money. All right, if you want good money, this is worth 25 minutes of your time. I'm just saying. The acceleration in this on this thing is ridiculous, too. I wonder if this would be a good drag car. No, 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 what? Oh, of course I lose to it, but... It's not a fair race when you're racing against a Bugatti, is it? It's a Divo. No wonder. At least I think it's a thousand acceleration. You know, it's funny. I almost have the same acceleration. <laughs> That's insane. Yes, I think it's a good drag car as well. Not only is it, it's fun for racing, but it's, I think this probably be better suited. If you put acceleration parts and make it specifically for drag race, this thing would probably destroy other cars. I mean, it's only S2 class. It's not even, I think, was it like halfway through S2 class? Did I even halfway through S2 class? It's just below the halfway mark. What would that acceleration be if I put primarily acceleration parts on it? Bro. <laughs> We got 1,028 acceleration from that and increase in top speed. This thing would be ridiculous as a drag car. All right, and with the build that I currently have, let's go see what the top speed of this car is. 259 miles an hour with nitrous, 237 without nitrous. That is insane. I am surprised at how fast this car is. I got one thing to say about it. Corvette C8 or the Jaguar F-Type SVR. Hands down, this. Is that the best hailing car in the game, but it's far from the worst. It actually handles pretty well when tuned up. In stock form? No, I wouldn't recommend completely against stock form in this car. This thing races like trash in stock form. Along with being top A class, it's also not that great. But in S1 class, it does better. In S2 class, it's it's the final form of this car. 
It's actually pretty good at racing and it's a lot of fun to drive and it accelerates like a bat out of hell. So would I recommend this car? Yes, definitely when compared to the C8 Corvette. For some reason that thing wanted to spin out even though the handling number was actually pretty good and I still don't understand that. But yes, I think this is a fantastic and fun car to drive. I, I do love it. I'm probably going to drive this more frequently in this server. Well, that is all time I got for this video guys. If you enjoyed the video, crash that like button. If you like to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell to keep up to date with all my videos. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Deuces!